L.A. didn't have football for ever and then the Rams obviously came back I know that was an emotional thing for you know because you're from Missouri your dad you know with his connection to Missouri like moving that team to LA like tell me about that process um, I mean I wasn't directly part of the process mm -hmm. um, I as I think you know better than most I mean my focus for the last decade or so has been on Nuggets and Avs and Rapids and Denver mm -hmm. um, and over the last few, I've even obviously expanded over to Arsenal in the UK since, you know, the last three, four years or so, spending a lot of time over there. But the Rams, I mean, they, they had a great run in St. Louis, won a Super Bowl there. Uh, and then, but the process of, of you know, the, the stadium and moving back to Los Angeles, I mean, that's probably, we'd probably have to de designate a whole nother road trip and podcast <laughs> for you and get a few other people to come in. Yeah. Um, it was an emotional roller coaster, I'm sure, on a lot of levels for a lot of people, no one more so than my father. Uh, but to see him up on that stage at the, after the NFC Championship, you know, I know was a moment for him um, in a stadium that, that he built, financed himself, and, you know, really designed from the ground up. And uh, I know it's something that he's proud of. He wanted L.A. to be proud of it. And, you know, I think back to one of the first design meetings, uh, we were sitting there and they were laying out all the you know certain aspects of the design and everything and my dad kind of stopped the meeting and he said look guys if if we're going to do this then you know i want to make sure that that we're doing this in a way that 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 makes people proud because i think our biggest risk if we're going to do this for a place like los angeles or try to do this for a place like like los angeles our biggest risk is undershooting this thing and so when i first walked out on the 50 yard line of the stadium you know in august of 2020 in the middle of the pandemic when you couldn't have people in it that was when they laid the turf, everything had just been done. I called him and I, I walked out and I said, Dad, I was like, you're not gonna believe where I'm standing. And he said, where? I said, I'm on the 50 yard line. He said, oh, how is it? What do you think? And I said, the only thing I can tell you is you did not undershoot this thing. <laughs> yes. And Incredible. it is, it's an, it's an iconic building. Uh, I think the NFL is proud of it. Hopefully Southern California is as well in general. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of great events coming there in the future. Uh, starting off with the Super Bowl right now. But uh, like I said, we got a game to play and we got business to take care of. So um, hopefully come Sunday evening, we're in a, in a pretty good mood. Have you guys had a chance yet? Obviously, there's still the ultimate goal to accomplish, right? Mm -hmm. But whether it be opening night or, you know, during this playoff run, obviously last Sunday with the NFC Championship, have you guys had a moment yet this season where you're just like, wow, in terms of SoFi? Uh, not yeah, to, you know. Mine would have been after the NFC Championship. Yeah. I mean, I was I was down there on the field and the confetti was kind of falling and, you know, I gave Odell a big hug and Andrew Whitworth a big hug and, you know, some of the guys that I kind of know a little bit. Um, and it's it, it was surreal uh, because you remember and you think back to all of the, the times and, and the process to getting to that point in time. And so to have a moment like that, that you really couldn't con script or control. I mean, it was. The seating was out of our hands and then all of a sudden the teams that, that needed to get upset got upset and then we were able to take care of business in Tampa following an amazing comeback from Tom Brady the greatest quarterback of all time and then you know most winning quarterback of all time and then you get into you know all these other things and then all of a sudden you're hosting an NFC championship game and you're like wow I mean this is a, a moment in time and you walk into that stadium and you see the fans you see the Niner fans you hear how loud it is and then you're able to come out and, and, and accomplish your goal and win the game, which is you know, completely out of your control. Um, you're fight, fighting against another team that wants to be there just as badly as you do. Uh, and the 49ers are a great ball club. And so we had to, to really you know, put our foot on the gas late and to take care of business in that moment and win the game to be able to go on to the Super Bowl. You had to kind of take, take a deep breath and be like, wow, I mean, this mm -hmm. is really happening. So we we're trying to have another one of those on Sunday. And I think that's a common goal, which is really cool to, to hear and see from all the players and staff. So me, me, me and Geeter, obviously, like some some Cali guys, like we're we're fully supportive. Like me and Geeter were laughing because people sent us pictures of us, like our screenshots of us, because we were like in the stands. So oh, yeah. Josh yeah. is up in the suite. Me and Geeter are like we're we're on like the twenty yard line, maybe not sober. I don't know. We're not gonna get into details, but we're having a great time and we're just like fist pumping, going crazy. People like started sending us pictures that we made it on TV. And so me and Geeter are immediately posting it on social media. We're just like, yeah, look at this, we made it. And like somebody was like, you two clowns are on TV for four hours every single day, every day. <laughs> like all you're on the TV every day, I'm doing stuff. And you guys are super excited that you made it in the crowd during the NFC Championship game. 
But like that's what it that's what it means for the people that have wanted football here in L.A. that are like so excited. And it does like the, there was a ton of 49ers there. The 49ers mm -hmm. have an amazing fan base. The Bay Area is one of the best like like fan like oh, experience yeah. in towns. We we're talking about the Giants. You're talking about the Warriors and. You know, you're just you're looking at as all I know that. from the golf tournament. 49ers have oh, yeah. a wonderful oh, family. Yeah, no <laughs> so, like, you know, what does that mean to like to know that? And, and okay, so Scotty C, another guy in our fantasy football mm -hmm. league, he from LA. Dad was a big Rams fan. His dad passed away, and it was just super emotional. Like, have you guys had that interaction with people that are like, "We're so glad you're here. Thank you for bringing you know the Rams back to LA. Thank you for bringing football back to LA." Like, have you had those emotional experiences with different fans? Absolutely. Uh, I have had several, and I know my dad's had some. All of our executives have had theirs. But, I mean, mine first started uh, when the Rams first were announced they were going to move back here. Uh, I mean, people forget the history of the Los Angeles Rams is the Los Angeles Rams, you know, from, from a long time ago up until the mid-'90s when they moved to St. Louis. And so when they, when they came back, one of the first things – I mean, I, I flew into LAX, went out, hopped in a cab, and I was going over to uh, this kind of – dinner that we were we were going to have or someone was going to host on behalf of, of the team and I'm just making small talk with the driver and he put two and two together pretty quickly and he was like oh wow he's like that's 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 you and your that's your family that's your father and I was like yeah I was like I'm, I'm very proud to say that is and he was like I just want to say thank you because I was able to purchase um, he's like when I was a kid my, my dad took me to my first NFL game and that was a Rams game versus you know whomever he had mentioned at the time and he's like, I was able to, to get online and buy the same exact two seats wow. that my dad took me to for my first game. And he's like, I have those seats for the first game back when the Rams come to L.A. Wow. And he was taking his dad. Wow. And so there's I've had a few stories like that. And, and the history of the Rams around L.A. is, is a very proud one. Um, they don't have a championship here. Uh, and so that's going to be our, our main focus heading into this weekend is to try to take care of business, um, regardless of how we do it. Win ugly, win pretty. Uh, let's try win. to come out there with a win. Sports are so powerful. Thank you for sharing that story, because yeah. I think it's important also, especially for those that maybe not do not get a chance to go to SoFi ever and get it to experience um, all that that has to offer, especially. 